Hey guys, in today's news update we want to talk about erectile dysfunction and this really common mistake that it's due to aging. But that's not the real reason and that's what we're going to get to in this video. This is Arnold Broad at Healthy at 60 Plus. If you have any questions about this video or any of the videos on my channel, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. If you'd rather leave me a question, you can do that in the comments section below this video. Now, let's take a look at what this, this idea that we're talking about today is. So let's start by saying that at one time and not too long ago, 20, 25 years ago, doctors tended to blame ED on psychological problems or with older men on the normal aging process. So what they said was, oh, you have ED, it must be in your head, <clears throat> you must whatever, go see a psychiatrist, a psychologist, I have nothing for you. With the advent of Viagra, that, that all changed. And now they're saying, oh, it's just the normal aging process. Today, urologists say physical factors underlie perhaps 90% of cases of persistent erectile dysfunction in men older than 50. So it's not just aging, it's other physical factors. Now, there's something that goes along with the aging process is that if you're doing really bad things for your body, over time, it'll catch up with you. So when you're 20, maybe not so much. When you're 50 or 60, maybe so much. So there's that kind of combination, but it's not just because you're, you're older. So researchers studied more than 31,000 health professionals with the, between the ages of 53 and 90 about their sexual function. They asked volunteers to rate their ability in the previous three months without treatment, meaning they weren't taking Viagra, Levitra, Cialis, and how they did to maintain an adequate erection for sex. Now, you have to take some of these numbers a little with a grain of salt because how many people want to say, yeah, I was re really crappy. So probably the bad numbers were a little higher than they're going to show. Now, researchers assessed other factors such as age, physical activity, alcohol intake, and smoking, which certainly can affect erectile dysfunction. And what they found, lo and behold, and I can't believe they spent money on this, the younger the man, the better the sexual function. Wow, that's really surprising, isn't it? Now, what they said, the majority of younger men, 74%, rated sexual function as good or very good. And only 10% of the men over 80 rated sexual function the same way. But, you know, 74, I talk to a lot of people, and I may have a skewed population who call me, but I'm thinking 74% is a little high. Only 12% of younger men reported big or moderate problems, and I'm thinking that number should be higher. But nearly a quarter to a third of older men, meaning greater than 50, reported this degree of sexual function severity. So if you're over 50, they're saying up to a third of the men had severe ED issues, and I'm thinking that number is a little higher also. Men with a healthy lifestyle and no chronic disease had the lowest risk of erectile dysfunction. And the greatest difference was seen in men between 65 and 79. So what they're saying is no high blood pressure, no diabetes, no cholesterol, no prostate issues, no other chronic uh, conditions, you'll have a better sex life. That's not because of aging. You don't get high blood pressure because you're older. You don't get diabetes because you're older. You don't get cholesterol because you're older. These are lifestyle issues that happen because of the way you're living your life. It just happens that the older you get, the more time the damage has taken place. So, for instance, men who exercise at least three hours per week <clears throat> had a 30% lower risk for ED than those who exercise little. 
obesity, smoking, and excessive sitting were also associated with having a greater risk of erectile dysfunction. You don't exercise, you're overweight, you smoke, you're really doing damage to your body at whatever age, but the more years you do it, the greater the damage happens. That's the only association between ED and age. So the bottom line is that the healthier you are, the better your sex life will be. Unfortunately, modifying lifestyle is hard to maintain. It's really worthwhile, but it's hard to maintain. And that's why I personally work on that, but I do supplements also to make my, maintain my cardiovascular system for good blood flow and good erections. And the method I do is something called nitric oxide therapy. Nitric oxide therapy is a natural way to repair the cardiovascular system and specifically the lining of the blood vessels to help with high blood pressure, uh, cholesterol issues, diabetes, high blood sugar issues and complications of diabetes and what we're talking about erectile dysfunction. The particular product I use is something called ProArginine Plus but nitric oxide therapy is the way to go for long-term repair. Now, I have a really good video on nitric oxide therapy that I'm leaving a link to in the description below this video and in the comments section below this video so you can get to it in both places. If you have any questions about that video, the nitric oxide therapy video, about this video or any of the videos on my channel, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. If you'd rather, you can leave a question in the comment section below this video. If you want to see more of my videos, just to subscribe to this channel, like this video if you liked it, leave me a comment. I want to thank you for stopping by today and watching this video. Have a great day, and here's to your good health.